The next thing I want to talk about is tents. If you're just an occasional camper, you don't have to spend a ton of money on tents. You can get affordable tents at Academy, at Dick's Sporting Goods, even at Walmart that are going to last you a good long while if you take care of them. Uh, this was one I've actually had since before Declan was born and because I've, I've taken care of it, I've waterproofed it every season, kept it clean, um, it, it has lasted through all those years. I did replace the poles with uh, aluminum poles at one point because the fiberglass poles broke, but other than that, it's been a solid uh, piece of equipment for our family for a long time. So you may be a little bit nervous about tents if you have never camped before. Um, what you're going to find is when you buy a tent, it comes in a bag like this, and then you open it up, and you do want to open it up before you go camping for the first time. Set it up in your backyard, or at least lay it out so you know where everything is. You're going to get a roll for the tent, probably a rain fly, the poles are going to be rolled up on the inside of it, and a bag with some stakes in it. Always make sure that you try and pack up your tent as much like it comes as possible. That's the best way to fit it in the bag. And you'll find that the better you get at packing your tent, the more stuff you can actually fit in this tent bag and other things that you need. So you've got your tent, you've laid it out, you've pulled out the poles and made sure you have all the pieces that you need. Especially important for those of us who are using tents that we've had for a long time. Always check and make sure you've got all the pieces before you get out in the woods. You can see here I've got just one of these blue poly tarps. It's important to have something to put your tent on, a ground cover. These are super cheap. Uh, if they get torn up or messed up, I don't really care. I order them in sets of five from Amazon. You can also get higher quality waterproof tarps to go underneath your tent. Um, I do have one of those and I like it a lot. But uh, if you're new to camping, if you're not sure, you're going to like it. Um, one of these poly tarps that's, you know, just a few bucks at hardware stores, Walmart, wherever, is going to be fine. The important thing about your ground cover, what goes underneath your tent, is the size of it. You do not want your ground cover to be larger than the dimensions of your tent. The point of a ground cover is to provide a little bit of insulation and also to keep the bottom of your tent clean and dry. If you have a ground cover that is bigger than your tent, when rain falls, it collects on top of those edges that are sticking out and the water runs underneath your tent and closer to you and your family. Don't want that. So the idea is for your ground cover to be just smaller than the dimensions of your tent. If it's a little bit bigger, you can just fold it under and that works fine too. But when you're buying a new ground cover, always buy your tent first so that you know what size ground cover to buy. Now when it comes to stakes, most tents are going to come with something that looks like this, these metal stakes and, and those are perfectly fine. What you will find is if you camp a lot, these get bent, they get lost. Um, even when you're camping, maybe you just forget to pull one out and then they're gone. And so, um, like I said, these are fine to start with, but you might find as you camp more that you want something a little more durable and sometimes a little more easy to see. And so that is why I have bought um, some heavier duty stakes. These are bright orange. I don't know if you can see it, how well you can see it, but they're bright orange. They have uh, a piece of cord at the top so that I can attach things there as well. They're shaped sort of in a T shape um, on the body so they grip tighter when you, when you put them in the ground. And I found that these are really great um, to use in a lot of circumstances with all my tents. And so, when, uh, when you buy your tent, it comes with stakes, you can store those in the bags. If you've got these extra ones that you use with all your gear, then maybe you store them separately or maybe you just buy enough to replace them for every tent you've got. Two more pieces of equipment I want to talk about that go with your tent that are always really useful to have are a small little brush and pan like this and some sort of hammer. This is a 
small kids hammer, but you can use a rubber mallet. Um, they make plastic hammers for tent stakes, whatever you need. Uh, when I go backpacking, I tend to just look around for a rock and use that instead of a hammer, just so I don't carry this, but it's nice to have um, when I'm camping with the family because I don't know uh, at a lot of campsites whether I'll be able to find a rock or whether the ground's gonna be too hard or whatever I might need. It just makes me feel better to have an actual hammer for those stakes. In a pinch, if the ground is soft, you can just stick them in and use your boot to, to push them into the ground. This broom and pan uh, is fantastic for cleaning out your tent before you put it away. When you roll up your tent, if there's pine straw, dirt, little rocks inside the tent from going in and out, uh, you want to get those out because rolling it up tightly like this means that there's the potential that all that debris inside your tent could damage the floor of the tent, it could damage the tent walls, and you're going to have a bad surprise the next time you try to put your tent up. You can also use a broom like this to dust off the bottom of your tent as you're rolling it up. It's just one way you can take good care of your gear and make sure it lasts you a good long time. All of these things I can fit into the bag with my tent, zip it up, and I know that everything is there for me when I'm gonna need it. Um, it's all together, I don't have to dig through my pack to find any of it, and that way, um, it's all already, even in bad weather, you guys just got the one bag and it's all ready to go.